guys, Sean Sully here with Engimit.com, and this is the Vanguard VO Go 3 Carbon Graphite Travel Adventure Tripod. Carbon Graphite, awesome stuff, lightweight, absorbs shock, looks cool. Um, and this has been our, our tripod for the last six months. And um, I'm going to tell you why. One, it is compact, more compact than the average tripod. The average tripod a little bit higher, right? I have exact specs here on the lower thirds. And durable. Uh, carbon graphite is very strong, uh, very long lasting, and this build quality is, is worth the investment. Now you can get a cheap tripod on Amazon and nothing wrong with that. 20, 30 bucks, plastic hinges and wheels and stuff and cranks and you get what you pay for. I, I gone through half dozen of those. Then about three or four years ago, I invested in the tripod that I'm using right now. Uh, I got two of them, and they're aluminum, and they have quick releases, and they work totally fine. But sometimes you want something that's even more packable, something that can live in your your day-to-day -day backpack. If you're a content creator in a city, or backpacking for like for us, getting out here in the mountains with our dogs, wherever my dogs are, somewhere, and um, and it can take some abuse. So let's get into this Vanguard travel tripod. So, obviously you can tell it's, uh, it's smaller, more compact than most tripods. It, um, the downside to that, the only downside I can see so far, is it doesn't get as high as, say, the tripod I'm currently using. Uh, it's not a huge deal, not a deal breaker at all. Um, for reference, I'm six foot one, and I'm able to shoot content totally easily. Uh, mostly in the videos you've seen the last five or six months have been shot using this tripod. So you, it's good enough. For what I'm doing is probably good enough for most of what you'd want to do. And the reason I'm making these uh, newer videos on the content creator kit that we use for our YouTube channel is not just for like what we use for our stuff, but what you can use for your content creation. A lot of people have reached out the last five months asking what audio and video equipment to use for their YouTube channels or their Facebook or Instagram or their website what cameras to get to shoot content, action cameras, mirrorless cameras, um, lenses, all that stuff. It's really fun. And it's cool because I get to approach this from an uh, idiot savant angle. I'm not a photographer or videographer or any of that. I'm just a dirtbag who loves to get outside and make content for you to help improve your quality of life. That's my goal. Um, so I make no claims to know what I'm talking about as far as proper framing and stuff. I just know what works, what breaks, and how to get around it. So, I'm kind of coming from a similar angle you might be coming from as well. I'm no Peter McKinnon here, <laughs> but I do, I do appreciate what he does. So, the tripod, <laughs> let's talk about that, enough about the philosophy. It's small as heck, right? There's very well built. I'm going to get this back in here, get that camera crazy focus right there. You can see the metal right there and right there. With the hinge points and at the lockout. What I mean by that, and I'm sure it's not even technical, listen to this. That's strong. Cool. All right. So usually I have it like right here, right there. And this is a two parter. So you get a little more coverage right there. The only thing I don't like about this one as much is I really like quick release, like the one on this right here. This one is not as quick of a release. It works totally fine. I mean, like, watch, you can get this guy out real quick. So, really not a complaint. I just, sometimes I really want to get a quick shot, and there's like a moose in camp, and you just want to get that coverage. Let's get one more point out. And, uh, there we go. Now we are shooting. That's as high as it gets right there. So, it is about about this much shorter than the one I'm shooting on right now, but still totally usable for an adult shooting content. Um, and if it's not high enough, you can easily prop it up on something. Oftentimes I'll use the hood of our truck, which is right behind the frame here, and I'll just shorten it down to here and choke these legs out at a wider angle because we encounter a lot of weather, <laughs> as you've probably seen in our videos. And here in the audio, first few years especially, we had horrible audio equipment, a smartphone. <laughs> we didn't really have much, but um, now we got better stuff. 
hopefully that's apparent. So, simplification. I like this. You know, a lot of uh, ball heads will have like two or three points of adjustment. There's just one. This guy. And then, of course, you can level them out. And there is your uh, bubble level. Easy to use. Doesn't really break. This is a quick release as well. So uh, my Peak Designs, and that's a competitor to these guys, but Peak Designs, Quick Release Plate, or any kind of Arca Swiss Manfrotto Quick Release will fit in here. No problem. And so if you are into TikTok and Instagram stories and all that stuff, there's your portrait mode right there. I don't really care anything about those, so I leave it there. <laughs> and then it does come with a smartphone adapter that slides in place, holds your phone. Uh, I believe it did hold my iPhone. What do I have today? Big guy, big iPhone. iPhone 11 Pro, large, fits fine. So if that's what you're shooting with, I think it's a fantastic setup. Honestly, these these phones these days shoot 4K 60 frames a second. Great for what they are. Like you can get bokeh in the photographs. You can, well, it's not real bokeh, but it, you can do a lot with this. So don't think you have to go out and spend a lot of money uh, to shoot content for YouTube or for your website or um, anything. The content's more important, and the audio. Make sure the audio is decent. <laughs> People will flame you for that. Been, been host many times on that. And then just make sure that the your smartphone or the camera or the action camera is secure with a tripod. Now, this is a good investment in my my opinion because it's light enough to keep in your backpack for fitness professionals, uh, in the city use, realtors, uh, I, anybody shooting content. It, Packs up small, as you saw in the first half of this video. It's super small, fits in anybody's backpack or potentially even a purse or a sling. And then what I like about it is when you get out of the city, like we are right now, it, it fits into the side of my backpack where the water bottle will go or trekking poles will go. It doesn't add much weight at all. I have the exact weight right there. And it's durable. It takes a beating. And it looks pretty cool, too. So there it is. Um, I'll have links below where to purchase. I think I might even have a coupon code. I hope I do. If I do, I'll put that below as well. So this is the Vanguard VO3 Go Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. My personal opinion on it. And um, like I said, this has been our go-to for the last few months. And you're basically seeing my complete workflow from start to finish, minus mounting the camera and turn the camera on and off. And so if I can do it, you can do it, and get this guy right into the here. It's always something, right? There we go. Now he's back to original state, nice and compact. Boom. Sean Sewell from GearMate.com. Hope you found this helpful. If there's any other tech stuff I'm going to cover, or how tos, or like how to do the podcast setup, or how to do uh, under a thousand dollar mirrorless camera video setup or how to do wireless microphone setups, any of that. I just want to help you guys with your content uh, or capturing your own family memories. It's very important too. So, Sean Sewell and Gimme.com. Till next time, take care.